Canberra will start with the ball in their hands as well. Game 45 of the regular season, the longest season in NRLW history. And it's all on the line here between the Raiders and Titans as Hollyman brings it outside the 21st up. Well, there was fighting words we heard in pre-game. Kiriratu saying that their forward pack would smash the Raiders forward pack. So I'm really, really excited to see these packs go head to head. And it's already been a very physical start. Tamara and sisters combined. Oh, Long like pass, just found Quinlan, but that pass hits the deck. So on the back foot, a little Maddie Bartlett. And not held here, seemingly. In order to pick up some bonus metres. Look at things, Guthrie able to finish her off in the end with Kiri Ratu. Quinlan for Kelly Signs. She's won her last five games. She missed the defeats in round six and seven. Big presence in the middle. Now Taufa ball playing for Temera. And Wiki crashing through the initial tackle of Minor Sinapati off the wing. Lovely service again. Those two sisters with the understanding. And the uh, kick hits the deck here. Set up kindly for Ivania Politi. Oh, <laughs> finished off over the top. There's a statement from Samima Taufa. Nothing is going to get through her today. I can just feel it. She's up for a big one. Look at this on the replay. <laughs> oh my goodness. But the penalty given away by an eager Raiders right, defence here. Discipline yeah, so important for the Raiders today. Yeah, they're really keen to, to get up and off their line, but just a little bit too eager. Uh, and they give away a penalty here with Lauren Brown. No doubt she'll uh, find touch here. He drives it into the breeze to find touch 40 meters out here so the visitors on the front foot off the back of that penalty for elliston center field what a season she's had as well averaging around 50 minutes a game in the middle it's a battle of the number 10s in this game sophie holloman up against her good friend jessica elliston they have been good mates for a very long time so it'll be a good matchup and martor so often the one-two punch with Elliston. This time Brown tries to put Shaley Bent through a hole. Learns to play the ball with no markers. So Brown takes them on down the short side and earns the penalty. Casey Badger was telling the markers they couldn't get involved. Yeah, you're on the mark. Alive, I thought, why did they go down that short side? Because they didn't have the numbers, but they obviously heard that call come through from Casey Badger. The marker was offside earn themselves another set of six in this red zone. Ooh. Good handling in the end by Bex. Not on the same page as Politi, but they worked it out in the end. Bailey Nazi, the dummy half, and here is Elliston. Took three or four Raiders to stop her. Bailey Nazi. Oh, what a ball! And the Titans off to a dream start. Shannon Martor, unstoppable. Well, back-to-back -back penalties just got them down into this field position. And then this line running, it was a very quick play, the ball, because they didn't take her to ground, Elliston, under the post. And the Harvey Norman replay will show this one beautifully. It's a nice, quick play, the ball. You can see the width there. And you can see exactly when you've got two ball runners attacking inside, outside shoulder of one defender, you force them to make a decision. And it's a very smart pass, Braley Nati picking up the correct runner in there. They're the tries that you want to get as a prop forward. You practice them at training. You are always set up in that twos position to get one outside um, and one inside of a player. So great to see Shannon Marto, massive season and in good form for this game already. And adds her first try of the campaign. It looked like Bradley Nati was trying to push Elliston into the end goal so she'd bring it back 10 metres, but it worked out just fine. Yeah, it did. Uh, Bradley Nati, very experienced. She knows exactly what she's doing. And like I said, great run off the ball there for Shannon. And then there's always that option to go out the back if needed. What a day for the front rowers in Canberra so far. It's always good. Isn't it, Rue? My kind of day. <laughs> Front rower day. Front rower appreciation day. Why go out day? wide when you can go through the exactly. middle? Exactly. Ellie Johnston, the star of the show in the previous game, with that late try assist. And Zara Canfield is the first choice kicker here, and she makes it 6 0.
That try was for Dad, written on the wristband there for Shannon Martor. First points for the Titans, so 18-point differential now for the Raiders to try and make up. And to update us on these seemingly ideal conditions, down to Marley Silver. Yes, they certainly still feel very ideal. The sun is shining. You can see all those Raiders fans soaking it up in the Eastern Grandstand at GIO Stadium. Still 24 degrees. And it does uh, say, according to the uh, professionals, that the wind has uh, calmed down and it's now sitting at 28 kilometres an hour. But down here on the pitch, it feels very strong. And we saw in that first game, it really wreaked havoc for Rachel Pearson in that uh, kicking game for Parramatta. So you will be interested to see how it affects the Titans, although they're off to a great start. And we're intrigued by Loz Brown not taking that conversion attempt, Millie. A little intrigued. She is starting on the field, as we see a forward pass there. She's usually their first um, first place kicker, so not sure. Yeah, we'll wait and see whether that changes throughout. So Braley Nati makes a rare mistake here. Hale just overrunning. The former Dalian medalist. Yeah, she was trying to engage the markers there and just held on to it a little too long, but the markers were sinking in to tie in with their A defenders, so they were never going to bite on her, and she probably needed to just dummy that one and take it herself. This gives the Raiders great opportunity. And Quinlan testing out Kiri Aratu, whose one-on-one -on -one defence was up to the mark. Here's Mona Lisa Soliola stopped in her tracks. Great defence there by the Titans. Short side here for Kelly Sines. Again targeting Kiriaratu, making the young half make her fair share of tackles. Plenty of support that time. Williams Guthrie, an elite defender, right alongside her. And there's Hollyman. Head to head with Elliston again. Yes, I'm sure we'll see plenty of that this afternoon. A stretch from Robbins ready, but there's NWG. This is going to be a great battle as this game progresses. We've spoken about the middles, but those two centers going head to head. Temera's kick. Politi well positioned. Comfortable take on the full, but the chase was sensational. There to greet her 10 meters out from her own line. Karina Brown off the wing. Just playing her role week in, week out for these Titans. You know, Sinapati, the other winger from dummy half. And great discipline on display from Karen Murphy's side here. And that time they linked up perfectly. Braley Nati and Hale. Martor, the try scorer. Chance for an attacking kick into that breeze here. Kiriaratu wants it. Get on the right. Shannon Britt. And the chase is getting there. Oh, Arpy oh, no. Nichols coughs it up. Six more for the Titans. Looks like she stole that from a teammate and it didn't turn out for the better. Well, they didn't really need to get airborne. The chasers weren't going to get there in time, but what a bonus set this is for the visitors. Braley Nazi goes to work again. Oh, so easy for Avadia Politi. Braley Nazi with two early try assists here. Well, yet again, we're seeing what happens when you don't actually put the player down in the tackle in this red zone. And the Harvey Norman replay, obviously this kick and the error from Arpy Nichols out the back, she overrode Maddie Bartlett, who was in a fantastic position to take it. And that's why the Titans got the six again. But to see how Shannon Mato is not taken to the ground, it means that she gets a quick play the ball and Braley Nardi has a couple of opportunities. And I quite like that play when the dummy half, Millie, sinks to one side and then plays back behind or in front of the ruck to the opposite side. Creates a lot of space. It definitely does. And, and we know that it's happening, but it's so deceiving when you're playing the game. You, you're fatigued, you're tired, you bounce one way, and as soon as you sl uh, slide to the next, you know, you've got a fast fullback there, a strong ball carrier in Avania Plate. And once again, she goes, why bother, why bother scoring these out wide if you can score them under the post? I don't have to run as far. Gained a lot of confidence last week with their biggest points haul against Parramatta, that 34 points to 12 win. And the points flowing early here. It's 12-0 after just 10 minutes.
Very relaxed coach's box okay, there, Karen on. Murphy. <laughs> Pretty score excited points. with her team start. Yeah, when you score points like that with under 10 minutes, you can afford a, a smile and a joke. They've been very powerful to start this game at Titans. She was giving it to Matt Guy there, who was sneaking in a snack or two during the ad break. And there's a look at the live ladder. And the Titans jumping above the Broncos, of course, the third. So that would make it Knights v Broncos in week one of the finals and Roosters against the Titans. And the Raiders would miss out. They've got a lot to overcome here. It's a nervy start from the home team and it's a dream start for Gold Coast to silence the fans in green on the far side. Titans look like they're really attacking this left edge of the Raiders. They've sent in a lot of traffic down that way and it's, it's working for them. And Elliston through the middle. Alinati wants her kicker to come to the left-hand side. Brown is the option. Arpy Nichols can stay grounded this time. And the Kiwi uses Robbins ready on the outside. What a move! Oh, what an ankle Tripped up by Williams Guthrie in the nick of time. Well, every set that the Titans are rolling through, the previous one was 57 metres, that one was 67 metres. They're finding a lot of space in and around the ruck, and I think that's where the Raiders just need to tighten up their defence. But right now, they're a little bit more worried about what their can, attack can produce. And there's the change on the right edge this week. Unfortunately, Holly May Dodd out with the dreaded ACL injury, so Elise Smith playing on the right edge today. Tamara stabbing it in behind, and the winger was up in the line. It takes a Gold Coast bounce, though. Uh, where do you want it? Play the ball in the middle. I like the idea. I like the idea of that early kick. But unfortunately, it just took that hard right turn on the bounce. It was a good identification because Politi was actually behind the ruck. She was a long way. You can see her on her bike there in back play, trying to come across. So if that was a little more square. Would have been some trouble for the Titans. Great technique down low from Quinlan in that tackle. Martour, one of the early try scorers for the Titans. Only losses this season have been against the big two, the Roosters and the Knights. Look at all those early run meters for the front row combination. And Chapman is out the other side. Ankle oh. tap didn't oh. work either. Jamie Chapman. Oh, they're flying the Titans. What a blistering start. Well, they were targeting that right-hand edge of theirs, and they just switched at the other side and caught Raiders napping. And Jamie Chapman with the, the tackle breaks, and she's just such a strong ball carrier. She's... Do the business today, and they're not just sneaking into the finals. They want to win it all. That's the dream of this team. They want to bring a title to the Gold Coast, and this is so impressive what they're doing here in Canberra. It is 
yeah. going at better than a point a minute. The Titans, that's six tries this Stand season by. for Chapman. Hat trick against the Eels, double against the Dragons, and hungry for more here in Canberra. Kickoff, pretty handy, and oh. Canberra need a moment like that. Absolutely. Clock is on, drop out. We didn't see the home ground bounce on the previous kick that Zahara Temera put in on tackle four in the previous set of six, but this one, absolutely beautiful. And I'll tell you what, lives rent free in my head. I said it last <laughs> night, I'll say it every single time. I want it as a ringtone or a message tone or whatever. Gus Gould. Let, Let the, the ball bounce. bounce. You invite trouble disappointment into, disappointment into, your, life. into your life. And oh. trouble. And trouble. In Monday's review. Yes. I'm glad I'm not a half. Confirmation of that breeze that Marley's been telling us about. Why oh, that kickoff just scooted away. <laughs> Tamara. No looker for RP Nichols. Oh, tummy eye. Met by Chapman, could not hold on. I had the right idea there, the Raiders. Execution. We just needed to go out the back there. So early in the tackle count. They haven't had possession for such a long time, too. I don't want to see them drop their heads here, the Raiders. Titans in front of the clock. 18 points, just 15 minutes played. Oh, late offload for Politi. And look at the metres on offer for the fullback. Moving really well, the Olympic gold medalist from 2016, one of the stars of the comp. Already a try scorer today. And Bent looking dangerous. Brown directing traffic finds Bradley Nati in a ball playing role this time for Kiriaratu. Quick hands, Williams Guthrie. Flat pass for Brown back to Kiriaratu. And now Hale, aren't they? Playing with confidence in the sunshine in Canberra. On the last, it's Brown through the hands for Chapman. Keeps it alive. Middle center potty. Oh, picked yep. up an injury, but I think she scored. No. Ooh. Touchy Last says tackle. in the touch. Yeah, the touchy called that one yeah. nice and early. I uh, thought, where do you want it? Couldn't believe one how ball. she actually got that down. It was a lovely off look here. at it. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. oh, and she sort of did the splits too. That's yeah. awkward. I can understand why she got up limping. Oh. The knee ankle flexibility is good. But just the tempo that the Titans are playing at today. They're just outgunning the Raiders because everything is on the front foot. Everything is in front, hands-wise. They're not having to stop and go back. It's just tempo, tempo, tempo. Absolutely, and that offload from Shannon Marto in the middle of the field when she had three players on her defensively, you know, it creates that gap in the middle for Ivania Palete to run through, broken play. It's a fullback dream. Well done with the touchy. We've got Luke Solden and Daniel Schwoss. On the sidelines today, making the call. Changes imminent. 17 minutes into the ball game here. Harvey Nichols moving it on for Smith. And just their third game. And almost the standing start for the. Kick from inside the 40. Remember, it's a 40-30 in NRLW, but not tested that time, Karina Brown. Got some treatment from Grace Kemp just onto the ground. Was that just me, or was that a really short 10? That was really I short. Actually, I was really just actually quick. wondering about why they let the ball bounce three or four times, and it was bouncing into, into the Raiders' arms. Got to get that ringtone. <laughs> Sent out widespread across the NRLW. Oh, oh Politi. How dangerous is she looking? And they're flying off the back of that quick play of the ball. Nice contact, Shante Temera in and under on Kiriaratu. It is the last here. So Brown gets her hands on it. Lovely looking kick through the line, but it tumbles into that breeze for a seven tackle set. It's a very firm surface, GAO, and when you keep it low and hard like that, it, it will run. But then if you get up and under the ball, when it 
does bounce and lands on the flat of its belly to bounce up nice and high. So there's a lot of contestable moments here for the kickers. If they can get the weight on the kicks right, it'll really bring their outside chases into play. So much for Canberra to do now. They have to score at least 30 points now to win by 12. And keep the Titans to 18. It's, it's possible. It is possible. We've seen some turnarounds this season in the NRLW. It'll be something special. There's Kemp. The Wallaroo off the bench and running with purpose. Late well, offload, offload as well for Quinlan. No it's one on the outside for Soliola. She wanted to get the speedsters on the outside. Finding their groove now, Canberra. From side to side they go. Temera. Holding that ball in two hands. It's knocked free. And it remains play number five here. There's still one more tackle after this with Wiki Hell. Chance for an attacking kick from Temera, who's getting into position now, the number six. First play the ball inside that Westpac red zone for the home team. Oh, Politi knocked it back and clean hands from Williams Guthrie in the pickup, too. Oh, Quinlan came through trying to put some pressure on Politi, but she took that one really well. And then yet again, I just what I'm noticing is the Raiders at the moment, they're not controlling the speed of the ruck. And that's why the Titans are getting such a good run on and their halves are finding heaps of space around and behind the ruck. Do you think that the weather may be playing a factor? The Gold Coast are used to that heat up in Queensland. But I dare say the Raiders have not been uh, prepared for a, a nearly 30 degree day down in the capital. Shock to the system yesterday when quite a few players in the captain's run had sink cream on here in Canberra. I saw that. <laughs> Sophie Holloman, like she was out for 10 hours of cricket or something. <laughs> Most she's unusual. Outfielder. She did live on the Gold Coast, but she's she's soon forgotten what the sun's like. Oh, yeah. Late in the count. Leg out, Sophie. No, this on is report. for a trip. Sophie Holloman on report for a trip. Speaking of. Too much zinc. I thought it was for the flop. <laughs> I thought there was a flop that came over the top here, but we'll see. Oh, Ooh, yeah. There you go. It's a good pickup by Casey Badger in real time here. Had a good view, of course, but. She was pretty close too, wasn't she? She's in a good position. Yeah, not easy to keep an eye on everything, though. Down low, spotted the trip. The trip or just clumsy? I, I think they look pretty deliberate, nearly. So, 10 metres out. 18-0, the scoreline, and the Titans looking to add to it here. Bailey Nati for Hale and on to Brown. Chapman back on the angle, and Canberra had the numbers that time to contain. This uh, fantastic athlete at left centre for Gold Coast. Oh, again, just a little search for ball control. Might have cost a front rower a try there, Elliston. Kiriaratu now. Oh, oh short line. line. Canfield no. spins oh. the right way and might have scored. I don't know. Right, I think she bounced five. in front Coffee of the line. No try. Yep. Can we just confirm if the ball gets to the line or if it's short? I think as she's turning here, what it looked like to me was that she got caught short and bounced right before the try line. It was close. There. Oh, she's oh. caught just And before. her own arm was in the way. And then loses it there on that replay. So an important oh. uh, bunker review here because Canfield thought she'd be able to play it, but I think she's lost control yeah. here, Millie. Right, that is Solly The ball Nichols. is grounded short. Just looking to determine if she maintains possession of the ball. That looks like she's lost it. Great defence by the Raiders there, oh. right on their try line. Had to be. Right there, yep, the hands away from the ball. The first replay angle was pretty handy too mm. for that. We've got Peter Goff back in the bunker assessing all of these angles to say whether it's uh, going to be Canberra ball or Canfield to play it. It'll be a Raiders ball. The ball is grounded short and then the ball rolls out of the hand. She loses possession. Have a decision. 
the Raiders will take a lot of confidence mm. out of that defensive effort because they were under significant pressure, but they managed to put the Titans players on the ground every time they went in or to take a run. They put them on the deck. They controlled the speed of the ruck, which allowed their defensive line to get up much more square and be able to put pressure on those players. So a much better effort. And I think with 22 minutes gone, they're getting into the arm wrestle now, the Raiders. And Raiders fans hoping that's a massive turning point in the game. Canfield that close to a fourth unanswered try. Instead, the Raiders get the ball back 10 metres out from their own line. And tough metres on offer here for Mackenzie Wickey in her rookie season. Yeah, Mackenzie Wickey, she's one that I was really looking forward to watching and she's going to grow and develop as a player uh, as the seasons progress. And she's been very strong, as we know. Uh, daughter of Reuben Wickey, absolute Raiders legend. So it's great to see her out there in her in dad's footsteps, but also making her own. Quick hands from Nichols and turned around again here. Maddie Bartlett Ooh. knocked out of her grasp and doesn't restart the tackle count. A little bit of panic is setting in now. The, the scoreboard pressure is starting to feel the pinch in time before half time. I think some of those loose passes just need to be tucked under like this. Grace Kemp, just find your front. Work hard for a play the ball. Just get through your set nice and clean. Get a good kick off the back. Temera, her kicking game under pressure, but does have the breeze to help her out here. Gets it to the opposition 40. Titans winning this field position battle, even though they're running into the breeze in this first half. Telstra is the proud naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Women's Premiership. This is footy country. Should we tackle two? Looks like there's You're a right? head knock somewhere. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a head knock. Wait. Okay. Time on. Yep. Just a little hit on the hooter for Zahara Temera. She's okay. Gets involved in the tackle here on Chapman. Ooh. That yeah. ball came loose as well. It's tackling. Complaints yeah, about a strip from some Titans, but. Will they challenge it? I don't think they'll bother. They're up by oh, 18 points. And they've been so dominant. Even though I, I think there was a strip in there, there's a hand on the ball, and that's more than just making a tackle for me. Sometimes you're just not sure. You're not yeah. really sure what happened. You're not sure if there's two people on you. You know that you lost control, but it could have actually been from someone else, and you don't want to make that call. Yeah, yeah look, that See, looks Tamara like there is, is on a the hand ball on the there. Ball. Yep. That, that's a, for me, she's playing at the ball. That's not making a tackle. But when you're up by this much, you don't yeah. need to burn your challenge here. Yeah. Just needed to let it go and make it more convincing there, Chapman, by holding on and then using the ground to control the ball at the end of all, and that's what led to the whistle. Steph Hancock is so good for that. You'll just be wrapping the ball up in a tackle, as we see another penalty, and she just lets go of the ball, and then it's a strip. <laughs> you look at her and she looks at it and she laughs, and I'm like, you little... I'm going to start doing that. She'll be coming off the bench soon, Steph, with all her tricks. I'm sure we'll see it. <laughs> Penalty goes the way of Canberra here. here with me, with me. A little smirk on her face as though she heard what you were saying there, Millie. Robbins Reddy has found the go forward, hasn't she? That left centre. Short side raid here for Soliola. Need points before half time. Opportunity knocks here. Kemp. We'll play it 15 metres out. We'll have to go backwards here. Pass behind Taufa. Now Temera. Oh, nice. oh Elise Smith. Oh, oh yes. Oh, no. the ball that close. Politi underneath it. Holds it up somehow. Oh, my goodness. This, this footwork was fantastic by Elise Smith. It was a great line that she ran to. She punched straight through. Still had to keep the legs moving because it slowed her down, but this footwork was so nice. Look at this scramble, Politi and Hale. Great to see Titans defence really stepping up. You know, they're up by 18 points, but they do not want to concede any points in this game. Wiki lost the ball in contact. Hand over there. And they don't get yeah, to no, a kick Jamie. on the last, Canberra. How close to their first points in that set. Jamie, just wait. I lock in. Yep. Straight away, you can see the mentality of the Titans. 
They know where the threats are for the Raiders and they are just turning up, they're punching in off the edge, reducing the amount of time they've got to make decisions. And yeah, they have started with a real pep in their step today. It's great to see they, they Earlier in the season, we saw them have to fight back for games. They didn't get off to the best starts, but up by 18 points, heading into a semi-final potentially. It, it's good news. What a heads-up play that was by Pelini to slip her arm under the ball because if it didn't go under, she was rolling over there, Elise Smith, out of Juni. A famous Raider hailed from, of course, and look at Pelini go. Scampering her way inside the 30. After that run, she's already over 100 metres. She just picked up 30 just then yeah. off a quick play of the ball. Brown's kick again. I'm not sure if she's learnt oh, the lesson. Yes, she has. Temera, one hand offloaded, her own in goal. Canberra need to chance their arm and it comes off. Oh. Darren Borthwick watching that in the coach's box. What goes through his mind when Temera throws a pass one-handed? Oh, God, I wouldn't want to be a coach, that's for sure. <laughs> he might be Cover thinking the same mouth. thing. <laughs> what was I thinking? He's not as vocal or you know, as animated as we've seen some coaches. There's Martua, the real presence off the bench, playing it. Backup dummy half, Emma Barnes has had a terrific season, one of several teenagers strutting their stuff in the NRLW. Look at that pass. The halves combined. Quick shift to Robbins ready, and now Bartlett, a little bit of room to move. It is the final play here, and they get it back towards Quinlan, and now the kick to come from Nichols, the lefty. And she'll find the grass. Pine bounce for Politi. Looks like a game of Fiji touchout here. <laughs> they look tired, but they just passed it five five ways one way to pass it five ways the next and then put a kick in from where they were. A lot of points in the previous game. Cronulla smashing Parramatta. Riley Jorgensen now on. Freddie's favourite in the pink headgear. She got player of the match in the 19's origin earlier this year for Queensland, Riley Johnson. Oh, oh, Loz Brown, fantastic for the corner. A rare try for Lauren Brown, <laughs> who's been the field goal hero this season. Now a four-pointer. Well, this is what we've seen from the Titans throughout this whole start of this game. When they identify that the line speed of the Raiders isn't there, they're taking the space and then forcing a defensive decision. Here on the Harvey Norman replay, it's a nice play of the ball. There's inside, outside push. They've got run shape. And then all that happens here is the half decides what they do based on what the defensive line does. And we see Wiki bites right in. And that's what actually creates that space. When you create that triangle in the defensive line, that's where the people who've got fast feet can really take advantage of it. And Loz Brown did that to a T. She sure did. She's been hitting short to Chapman all day and she noticed that they were just waiting for her to get the ball and she saw that space open up and it's great to see Loz get a try there. She's been playing, coming off the bench as hooker. She's a great utility player and she's really finding herself at home playing half back there. So great to see her get on the scoreboard today. Showing some pace too. Yeah, I thought she was going to use Chapman. That's a pretty good option, but Steph Hancock there to... <laughs> Join the celebration party just onto the ground. And Jorgensen takes over the goal kicking responsibilities. So Brown not having a shot at converting her own try. Tough kick this. Jorgensen using the breeze. Has it got enough? No. Denied by the crossbar. What a season it's been for Lauren Brown. Her fourth straight game at halfback. She was a, used as a dummy half 
at some stages and uh, spent some time on the bench, but now very much the first choice seven. Yeah, as uh, Ta Talia Fuimayano hasn't been playing in the halves there, Loz has found herself a mainstay in the number seven jersey. And that's their X factor heading into finals because Talia Fuimayano was named on the bench today as the replacement player in the number 22 jumper. It's been a long time on the sidelines with her leg injury, but she's ready to go come finals time and another option for Karen Murphy. It, it was round one when she did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Round one. So it's been a long time on the sideline for her and she is very quick on her feet, sees the ball beautifully. So she's definitely going to add to this Titans roster. And Murphy told her in pre-season the number six jumper was hers, but right now it's Kiriaratu and Brown in the halves and not going to uh, replace them in week one of the finals, you wouldn't have thought, but potential to wear the number 14, maybe. Jorgensen pleading for a penalty, nothing doing. Giri Aratu, deft little kick, how's the bounce? Nichols did well, with Brown closing in. Madison Bartlett, hasn't she been strong all year? on the wing for the Raiders, just turns up, does her job defensively and in attack. She's been outstanding. Such a professional performance this from Gold Coast. A new Canberra would be fired up after the Viking clap, needing to win by 12 points or more today. And they put them in a 22 points to nil hole, but here comes Nichols. Defence so solid. Hang time here from Temera and Brown with confidence gets there on the full. She's been listening to Gus for a long time. Very safe under the high ball. Karina Brown, she'll have to go back and play this. You can just see the fatigue that's set in for the Raiders. They're just making their way to their feet. They're just not pushing as much around the ball and attack. They really need half time so they can just regroup. Absolutely, especially when you've made those subs already. You're just waiting for half time to, like you said, re regroup and have a chat to the coach and see what's going on from above. Sometimes it's hard to see on the field. Through the hands of Parisi, it went backwards. Rare negative play for the Titans. Hancock dummying to no one. Just watching to see whether she'd release yeah, I was that watching ball there, too. Really. No one had a good enough grip on it. Three around to kicking on the last. Plenty of hang time here. Nichols. Good take. The Titans give the ball back right where they want to. Great to see the fans turn up to support the Raiders in what could be their last game of the season. Definitely their last game at home, so the boys aren't in the finals anymore, but uh, still good to see their, their supporters turning up on a beautiful day. Not much else to do in Canberra, so it's good to see they're at the footy. And you say that, Hope they brought their a sunscreen. Lot, a lot of time there, Millie. <laughs> yes, it's a great spot. Ooh. Great hands, Wiki. Can Nichols do from dummy half goes back to Tamara for the kick towards Brown side again. She'll take it on the full, but not a genuine tackle. Yep. Tamara was not dealt with. So 30 seconds to make something work and get some points on the board before <laughs> half time. Looks simultaneous. Unnecessary, though, is what the referee is yeah, thinking. Yeah, I think she was saying it was, wasn't a genuine yeah. tackle. Arms wrapping. Yeah. It's going to happen now. No time to be tackled. The siren will sound. So Temera is going to kick on the first. Tungi eye. Oh, she deliberately kicked that. So it's still alive. For Casey Badger says knock on, in fact. And that'll do us. A dominant first half showing from the Gold Coast Titans, who look destined to play finals footy this year and enter the top four with a bang as well. A chance to rise to third on the ladder with victory here. And they lead 22 points to nil.
has that halftime scoreline 22 points to nil in favor of the Titans. Remember, Canberra needed to win this game by 12 points or more to take the Titans spot in the top four. That looks highly unlikely to happen now. Gold Coast playing with such confidence, and Millie Boyle. You seemingly have a date with the Titans next week at Allianz. Looks to be so. We'll never know. 22 points, but they're playing some very strong footy here, and no doubt they will be backing it up in the second half. They're always good in the second half, so it's scary to think what could happen. We've got the Breeze at their backs as well here, the Titans. But again, the kickoff works for Zahara Temera to get the ball back. All right, clock is on. Two in one game. The ringtone is getting more and more <laughs> likely the more this happens. Looks like a little bit of sun in the face. And tell you what, I'm chatting to my uh, fullback and my halves before that comes. And I'm saying, you got this, you got this. <laughs> I don't want to be left for that. Uh, can that provide a spark for Canberra? Right back inside the 20 they go through Grace Kemp. And the penalty given away. Big fun. Yeah, being a bit slow though as well. Kemp trying to fight really hard to get up and play the ball quickly. Just tap it and go to the captain, Taufa. Hancock holds on down low. Temera now. And Smith just stumbling. She's looked likely, though, so close to that first half try. Taufa on the back foot and then coughs it up as Quinlan tried to get her involved second time around. Like we spoke about just before half time, there's a little bit of panic setting in. The passes aren't quite going to where they're supposed to. The offloads are coming where sometimes you just need to take that tackle, reset, go again off the back of it. They had themselves in really good position there, not just off the kickoff, but then off the back of a penalty. But yeah, that offload didn't really need to happen. Been a tough watch for Darren Borthwick, who was treating this as the semi finals come early today. <laughs> Team blown away in that first half as Politi holds on. Stand Thought about the offload. Great tackle there by Ash Quinn. Oh. Got right up under her. Knew where the ball was going. Martua really slowing it down. <laughs> Getting away with it. And pulled out of it initially there as Parisi picks up about 15 metres on a really good run. That is more of what the Raiders need to do. This is going to be a quicker play the ball because they only had one person in there. And that means the next one will be good as well. But here they go, offload. Hancock's offload, fantastic. And Bent gets her hands on it again. Stray boot, maybe. Yeah, Ash Quinlan's in some trouble. It's Wiki, in fact, who copped the stray boot. The kick down to Nichols. Knocked backwards is the call by... Casey Badger, oh. who was right on the spot again. Look at that chase. Lost oh, Brown, goodness. Happy Nichols was lucky that Shaq Tonga was there to clean up the scraps. Mackenzie Wiki just seems to have got a boot to the face. They're never nice. That's what you need at the end of a long, gruelling season. The copper black eye for the next week <laughs> that turns yellow by about Thursday. Mm. Oh, if you're lucky. If you're not, it hangs around for a couple of weeks. Goes through the whole spectrum. <laughs> Good story. Yeah. Had some crackers, clearly. Again, tend to be taking the passes from a standing start, the Raiders. Looks like they just aren't really sure what's on. They need to get to their points, but it's hard to tell what their game plan is at the moment. It does seem just a little bit like survival mode. At the yeah, moment, doesn't it? taking one out and then just hoping Zahara kicks it really far down the field. Solid hit there from Taufa. Brown would have been regretting looking up and seeing some Ima closing in. 
is the technique of uh, Ash Quinlan on Politi. Can he stop her with the initial contact? Parisi. Oh, stopped by Martua, but good enough to get an offload away for Brown. And a spin away through. So the seven out of play here on the last. It's over to Kiriaratu for the kick. Tumbled down towards Nichols, who makes sure of the take this time. For the very first time, the NRL is heading to Vegas. Join us as Australia's most exciting sport is unleashed in the sports and entertainment capital. Rugby League unleashed in Las Vegas. Tickets on sale now. Visit nrl.com slash Vegas. Got your eyes on that trip, Millie? Look, I was just about to say, wouldn't that be nice to be over in Vegas? It's interesting to see how it'll go. Whether the fans will turn up, watch everyone without all of the padding, as we know in the NFL. Great hand, Soliola. Oh. I thought she lost that in the tackle then. A lot of Aussies heading over, and there will be the curiosity for the Americans to watch it at the stadium where the Raiders play, of course, in the NFL. It'd be pretty cool as well if you could take, say, the two grand finalists from the NRLW mm. over for a little pre season. Stoush? Yes. I've been workshopping with Alana Ferguson, Origin 1. Yes, the that would be Origin good too. One of a three-game series. We'd need to just play a few games before it. <laughs> February, though. Look, well, you early. wouldn't see the best yeah. the best footy. It's hard enough. It's hard enough in May. In <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, another horrible eye injury here. The Robin's ready this time. Is that another stray boot? The two centres for the Raiders getting their head in places you don't want oh friendly Ooh, fire friendly fire from Grace Kemp and we'll take a quick break here early in the second half Canberra medical staff working overtime right now. Robin's ready has been patched up, but may have to go off for an HIA anyway. And Samima Tauf has uh, been opened up as well. Yeah, look, Samima's rubbing off on them there. If uh, Samima hasn't bled through a game or a training session, she hasn't worked hard enough. And she's uh, obviously uh, letting the girls know that that's the way to go. But I'm sure she'll be sweet. Bit of vaso, towel. Get the water towel. to rinse her off. Casey's start. making sure she's not bleeding anymore. Yeah, it looks like Robin's ready. He's going to come from the field for that head injury assessment. Even the strapping there and her eye looks like it's swollen shut already. Looks like it's it, getting bigger. Yeah, it's quite painful. Yeah. Right Rob. about Mima. Sweet, thank you. It's not a complete game unless thank she's you. bled or she leaves we'll in a moon boot. Or we'll see the two similar. tampons yeah. up the nose after right. after the game. We've seen that plenty yeah, this season, haven't we? Oh, so Tara Reinke has come on in the number 17 jumper, getting involved in that tackle briefly. Just found it, Brayley Nazi. Nice trademark go forward from Elliston. Short side for Brown. Ben does a lot of that hard running, doesn't she? Former Dragon. Tumbling kick. Awkward one to take here. And despite copping some treatment from her teammate, Arpy Nichols holds on. We saw this in the first half where both her and Bartlett got a little mixed up. They got their signals crossed, but this time she comes up with it cleanly. But this defence from the Titans is just relentless. It's good to see that they can not only score the points, but they can really, when it's time to defend, and they have defended a couple of sets at a time here. And 
this by far I think is the best game that they've played which is really good signs heading into the finals not so good signs for the Roosters but uh, it, it's great uh, for Karen Murphy and the girls yeah, semi-final action in the NRLW next weekend prelim final action in the NRL as you can see the Broncos against the Warriors of course the Panthers against the Storm on Friday night and Politi across in time to take it on the full. Quickly back to centre field and going from one side to the other in the end, the fullback. Jamie Chapman was calling for it. She did want to take a little run, but she thought, I'll take, scoot it from Hooker and uh, take it on myself. In all centre party. How exciting has it been? To watch a lot of the teenagers break through this season, Millie. And the Titans have several of them who've made their mark. Yeah, it's great to see. I mean, you're playing with players that have played the game for so long. And now that the NRLW co competition is here, it's a mainstay. As Steph Hancock pushes those dummy half passes a little bit too far. Yeah, like I said, it, it's great to see. And it's only going to get better in the future. Here's Hale and Kiri Aratu, another of the teenagers, taking on Reiki. What a pass. Slipped it to Hancock, who's kicking. Oh, a great oh, that's off to an offside player. Yeah. Didn't have a whole lot of time to react, so it's just the penalty, you'd imagine. Offside. She retains her kicking licence, Steph. But a lot of people penalty might not know this about her. She actually started as a half. She played half I didn't know that. many years ago. So she's got the skill set to be able to drop a kick. She's got actually got a, a really good punt on her as well, like a big kick. You know what? She pr probably could have passed that and she thought, nah, this is my shot. Glory. It's fifth tackle. <laughs> I'm allowed to kick here. And look, it's worked off for the it's better. come off. <laughs> I've seen her do a few kicks in play, actually, to, for clearance kicks, like in yardage. So, got a big boot on her. More pressure for Canberra's defence to try and withstand. Great hands, Jorgensen. Slowed down by Kemp. Rayleigh really Nati service has been outstanding from dummy half. Nice move this from the Titans and Beggs. Shaley is over and crashes down. What a performance this is from the Titans. And a second try this season for Shaley Bent. Shaley Bent, she's been playing exceptionally this game, taking those big yardage carries and always finding that room on the other side of the ruck. On the Harvey Norman replay here, we see numbers out on that left-hand side and, and Lauren Brown just holds the ball up just enough to make them second guess where the ball is going to go. And great to see Shaley Bent go over for her first four-pointer of the afternoon. And this is a clearly worked set play because when you have a look at that top shot, you can see there's a lead runner that comes through back on the angle. Braley Nardi plays to the outside and it's a bump ball because then Steph Hancock turns around and pops it back out and then they play their run shape off the back of that. And what that does is that actually gets what the four defender, which is usually the second row, are really interested on that lead run and that's what creates the space on the outside. See here, you can see the, the four defender just slows up her pace a little. And that creates that little bit of space. And you're right, Millie, I think Shay Bent has had a really good game for the Titans today. And the four defender, for those viewers at home who don't know. My apologies. The four defender is the second rower. So when, you, when we're talking four and five defenders, you count from the edge in. So the winger is one, centre two, half three, second rower four, and then a middle is a five. Tell you what, I do not want to be caught anywhere under five. Because that is so much decision making. Oh, not off the right part of the Head boot off. that time for Ryan. Shaley Bent, a long time dragon, now playing for the Gold Coast Titans. Partner of uh, David Fafita, of course. 
<laughs> cheering her on in week one of the finals. Oh, he's right on track to play the Roosters for a spot in the grand final. Success has been few and far between for Gold Coast sporting franchises. And they talked about that in pre-season, these Titans trying to bring a title to the Glitter Strip. And they'll be just two wins away after this performance. I just really like the mentality of the Titans this year. You know, we've spoken and heard at length about the junkyard dog mentality they brought into this season. That's forward. And we saw they finished last last season. Did they? Clock is yeah, on. and they've Scrum turned up today. And this year, I should say, and just look at the performances they've put back to back. They've won tough. They've won by points. They've won through defence. They've won through their attack. And today, I feel like we're probably seeing the most complete performance from the Titans. I agree, Ru. Uh, Karen Murphy has done an exceptional job in her recruitment and what she wants to bring to the side. She's got that mix of experience and youth and. They've, I said it from the start, I thought they were going to be one of the teams to watch and I really do think that they deserve uh, their, their top four position if they are to get that today. And they won some cliffhangers against Brisbane at the Gabba, round two in Golden Point, Lauren Brown with the field goal, then against the Dragons at Cogra as well, Lauren Brown field goal to win 23-22. And then really finding their straps in recent weeks against the Tigers and Parramatta and now belting Canberra on their home deck. And I think they had a 69th minute win against the Sharks at Points Bet Stadium. They did. So Who would remember? I remember. <laughs> I remember that. We were <laughs> in the studio. 10-8 yeah, that was. So able to win the arm wrestle as well. Nice pick up here by Tungi Ai. Well played on the last. Temera on the front foot trying to find grass and she will do that. Bounces away though for a seven tackle set. Does Ivana Polite ever get tired? It doesn't look like it, does she? With me, with me, come on. She's someone you want on your team, that's for sure. And she's been hanging around the ruck a lot. We're seeing that little inside play where she's catching a marker, chase, and then she gets the ball back on the inside and makes an easy 20 metres for her team. So she's someone you want to play off the back of. Looked like there might have been some fatigue in that face we just saw <laughs> in the close-up, understandably so. Well, now she's a, she's a fullback, so she gets to go out and rest now. <laughs> What you think of fullback? No, I don't. <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> Hale wrapped up here. Still two more plays remaining, and again, good ball here for the Titans. Just wait, wait, wait. Push up, Grace. Push up, Sophie. Sophie, Grace. Mark has got to get closer. Casey Badger really. Dotting the eyes, crossing the T's on that play. The ball. Kiria Ratu. Not doing a whole lot on that play. So it'll be over to Loz Brown here. Wants it down the shorter side. Kick. What a pick up that is off her boot laces. But driven back into the end goal. It's been that kind of day for Matty Bartlett. This is what I've liked about the Titans. All up, like, is on. I think I touched on it before. Um, they are just relentless. Their defence, they're up in the face of the Raiders. They're forcing the Raiders to make some really difficult defensive decisions. And then their kick chase has been fantastic. Their kick pressure has been on. They've forced Sahara Temera to come up with some missed kicks as this game has progressed. And, oh, they're just, like I said, this is close to a pretty complete performance, other than the few errors they've had. Short oh, dropout oh, comes off one, in stride. Ash Quinlan. And look at the game as oh. the Titans work themselves out here. Well, that's perfection on the short dropout. It is, and that's what you also call commentators' curse. <laughs> I said close to complete. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what the Ra Raiders needed, though. Shantae had to tell Big Sister to get back on side and still threw it forward. Tachi had a good long look at it. Maybe backwards out of the hands and drifting forward was the call, but it's jolted free of the grasp of Arpy Nichols here. Karina. It was a knock on. The knockdown from Karina is a knock on. Interesting ruling. All up, clock is on. Knock on uh, against the, the Titans and uh, Karina Brown, they say. 
Do they challenge it? Well, it looked like when I watched it, like this was a wonderfully weighted drop kick, just placing it right where there were no Titans receivers. But when this, I watched this play live where they've called the knock on by Brown for the Titans, I thought that it was a loose carry, but she must have tried to offload, and that's why it's deemed a knock on by the Titans. Great pressure there from the Raiders and Ash Quinlan. Ash Quinlan has been one of Raiders' best, one of, mo one of the most underrated halves in the game, I believe. No look at from Temra to find Ash Quinlan, but Mona Lisa Soliola could not hold on. That's a pressure catch. You've got plenty of, plenty of bodies around you. That is a really tough one to catch straight off. Oh. Shante, what a hit. What a hit. She's got such good technique. She's built low to the ground, so she's in great 52 position. kilos ring and wet she is, oh. and she'll put on the biggest hit on the biggest player on the field. I love it. Good technique. I've played with uh, Shante at Burley, Burley Bears, and she's all heart. She won a grand final very yes. early in her career as a Bronco, too. She did. I also played with the Broncos. I thought you did. <laughs> Is she chirpy? Not too chirpy. Not Just too as chirpy. chirpy as Z. Okay. I don't know. Z can be pretty angry when she wants <laughs> On the field. Be, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I meant on the field. On the field she is, but yeah. That was just the second game, the 2020 grand final, and Tamara got a spot in the number 17 jumper on the bench. Look at that bounce on the firm surface again. Rue, you're all over this. And so many seven tackle sets being given up. Yeah, it's just, it's the surface at GIO. That's, that's what that stadium does. And obviously the wind is behind the Titans this half as well. And Kiriaratu may not have accounted for that one, but had a little bit more in flight than I think she was anticipating. So when it did land, it just continued to roll. Been plenty going on early in this second half. Marley Silver has an update for us. Yes, it's good news for Shayelle Robbins Reddy, who has passed her HIA and is down on the sideline looking like she's about to come on, although she's still got quite a heavy strapping over that eye, which, as you can see, is still very swollen. And now, concern for Shaq Tungyai is getting back into position on the right wing, but on one leg at the moment. Matua greeted by Williams Guthrie. Another pass hits the deck, and Quinlan has nowhere to go. Can Shay see out of that eye? I hope she's on the side where she can see the ball. <laughs> Looks like it's getting bigger. Yeah, it's completely swollen shut. This is a nice offload break by Grace Kemp. It'll affect her depth perception, just unable to see out of one eye. Shaq Tungai is moving just fine. I was going to say, which leg was she hopping on? Because she came down like a freight train. It's perception. She wasn't actually <laughs> injured. Well, oh, my dope. goodness. I felt that from here. Minor Sadapati's thinking the opposing winger's not doing much. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Imagine that looming up in your front windscreen. <laughs> oh, how aggressive is Shaq Tungai right now? Lofipour has come on in the number 14 jumper. Another 18 year old in this Titans lineup. And a dummy half there. Started four games at halfback earlier this season as well for Karen Murphy, who decided between her and Kiri Aratu as a first choice half at the beginning of the campaign. They combine here. Kick off the inside of the boot a little. It's away from RP Nichols for a moment. Oh, there's Riley Jorgensen. Beware the pink headgear. There's the uh, line that Brad Fittler gave us when he saw Riley in action for the first time. And that was another example why. Look at this run from Mackenzie Wicky. Great chase by the Titans. Oh, Hollyman met by Martor. Still waiting for Robbins ready to see how she deals with the ball coming her way. Here she goes. Well, here it comes. No Has to keep an eye on Williams Guthrie, of course, as well. He's one of the best defenders in the comp. The New Zealand Sevens teammate, central and centre there. 
Because don't we have some contenders for Rookie of the Year? Absolutely. Grace Kemp has been fantastic. Look at this, time since last stoppage. Almost five minutes. At the back end of a game, that yeah. is tough. Yeah, the, the middle of the day. Here and here we go, go. Minos in a putty trying to utilise it to her advantage. Here comes support, Politi, of course, it's Ivania, who's looming. She's always there. She'll take a run herself here. Goes to Brown instead as the Browns combine. Karina on the end of it. Looking ominous here. The way the Titans are clicking into gear. Zara Canfield. Still only midway through the tackle count after that wonderful return off the kick from Minos Sinapati. Just the one try this half so far from the Titans. Here they go for Chapman. Great tackle, Mackenzie Wicky, but didn't finish it. Yes, she did, according to the ref. Held call came. Brown. Hale. Look at the hole for Martor. Oh, trying to force the pass. Well done, Robin's ready. Well, now it's coming up to six minutes that this ball has been in play for without a stoppage. And we're definitely seeing some fatigue factors setting in. Line speed is reduced from both sides. I want to see the Raiders push up a little bit more, get around the footy, not just send one out so that the Titans can just control and win that ruck. The master suites revealed tonight, seven a block. Watch Scott Cam and the team. She's got open, but I need yeah. to stop the game there. She's got blood on everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Still we go on. No mistake. For a long, long time, no point scoring. Surely the game opens up. Titans looking the more likely as Williams Guthrie took some stopping. Nice legs tackle in the end by Smith. Longest sequences all season without a stoppage. Off he pull. Well, she's just fresh on for them, so I think she will be one that can really scheme around and find some space. And Ellison's back out there too. She looks fresh. So this is a smart time to make changes for Karen Murphy. Brown. Want to open up a hole for Chapman. Knock on, knock on, knock on, knock on. And the knock on is called just Into as they the were looking for one more play yep. inside Coming the Westback red zone. Into the defender. We can just tell by how many play the balls they've had in their red zone. And then you look at the scoreline as well. They've just been so consistent when they get into that attacking position to be able to come away from that with points. And then on the flip side, to be able to defend what the Raiders have been able to throw on them at them on their own try line. Yeah. I've been really impressed by the Raiders this half. They went down, you know, 22 points at half time. It's tough. And then to come out and Samima Taufa looking like that. You want to pack down in the front oh, row with no, her? Oh, no, I right don't. Now? I'm saying, please, somebody get her a tissue. Just give me a drink bottle. <laughs> get her some more Vaseline. Where's the towel? Oh. Referee just communicating that Canfield had got back on side there after not being square at market. Geez, that's a good tackle on Matua. They've shut her down. They've shut down her threat today really well, the Titans. They have. They've gotten up on her early, limiting her running options. We will have confirmation of how next Sunday looks with a double header. Semi-finals, NRLW coming your way. You now know which four teams will be involved because the Raiders would need to score 38 points in nine minutes to make it change. As it stands, Roosters v Titans. And the Knights against the Broncos. Politi, top of the charts, four metres gained. Well, the two front rowers there for the Titans. Up at the top of that run count too. They just get through so much work. They've been massive this season. 
Titans middle. It's allowing the outside backs to play off the back of that. And they've really stepped up this season. Kiri Aratu waiting for Canfield to change the angle. Complaints by Matua about an obstruction once Kiri Aratu passed it. And here she is again. Oh, Matua takes out some frustration by dumping Kiri Aratu just after the kick. Playing angry right now. On an edge, Matua. They just haven't clicked. They're just not in sync today, the Raiders. We've seen a number of passes go to deck. Their lead up play for last tackle option. The play the balls have been a bit slow, so Sahara Temura hasn't been able to get good kicks away for them and sort of push that field position battle. And, and that's just all down to the Titans. It's the energy they started with, the line speed they brought. I mean, it's so impressive. Just on the energy front, we talked about zinc cream being required for Holyman yesterday in the captain's run. And you've got to get that right, the length of time you spend out there in the heat on match eve, Millie. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it would have been a massive factor. And like we said, Titans, they're used to this. They're in the sun all the time. They're conditioned. And Raiders, it's, it would have been a max of 10 degrees all, all year leading into this game today. So... So see an error here. Challenge. But yeah, massive half from the Titans in that first half for that right, attack, and now their defense has really stepped up Titans in the second half. On the decision of knock on Titans. Yeah, Politi says let's, let's go upstairs straight away here. Adamant she didn't knock it on. Casey Badger said the first one went backwards, and then the second one goes forwards. Let's have a look. That's back. Yeah, I thought that and was back. That's maybe that one. Peter Goff assessing these angles back in the bunker. She's coming off for a spell as well. One, two. Yep. I'm with, I'm with Casey on that one. So the first touch from the Titans goes backwards. Just looking to determine whether the second touch is a knock-on. Slash the third touch. This one here, that'll be a well. knock-on. Take your pick. Titans <laughs> knock-on on the ground. Challenge unsuccessful. And I just said she's come off for a bit of a spell. That's her first error all game. She has been enormous again today for the Titans. She deserves that sit down. She does. Protect your Rolls Royce. Absolutely. Uh, was on that side. It was on that Tell side. you what, I don't get brought up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's a reason. <laughs> the Massey Ferguson always stays out there, mate. <laughs> the workhorses always stay out there. Yeah. No, smart play. Good to have other people in that cover position just in case as well. So always giving them an option if things do go wrong, not to plan. Can Canberra send the home fans home with a try to remember here in the closing stages? Hancock trying to force the ball free from Kelly Sines. Quinlan, Robbins ready, forced it to Bartlett. One of the leading try scorers in NRLW history had no room to move with in the end. Kelly signs once more. Tackled high by Parisi. They're ready to go right hand side now, Canberra's attack, and they click into gear here. The Temera sisters again. Looked like a hole might have been opening up right side, but Smith comes back against the grain. And tackled in front of those uprights. Quinlan has to be quick. And knocked on by Robbins Reddy. And the determination to keep a clean sheet here for the Titans is there for all to see. And that's what will impress Karen Murphy most about this. The way they want to continue to keep that keep the Raiders to zero, the way they keep turning up in defence, and they're staying in the defensive system as well. They're not going outside of it to try and solve what the Raiders are throwing at them. So I think she'll be really happy with that. When will you sit down and analyse the opposition generally in a week heading into a final, Millie? John Strange cutting up some video as we speak. Look, I'm sure he's watching and, and um, taking note. But, um, yeah, early in the week, we'll, we should do, 
usually do a bit of a preview, um, a re review of our game, sorry, and then a bit of a preview of the team, but sticking to what we know and, yeah. And you will be back. You're available yes. week one of the finals? Yes, I'll be back. It's really boring watching <laughs> from the bench. <laughs> Keely Davis boring. will be back as well. Keely Davis will be back. Very good. <laughs> oh, Great take. take. Tungi eye. And then ran into Jorgensen. That knee looks all right, though, which is good. Keen to go head to head with Riley Jorgensen. You'll be running her way now. I'll be trying to use whatever step I have and uh, not running at her. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing uh, you guys go up against Marto and Ellison next week. So am I. It's going to be great. <laughs> This is what my, f my front row dreams are made of. <laughs> Again, former teammates. Yes, former teammates. Oh, go. Here goes Taufa. Samima so says, where's the support? She's <laughs> one out. Tripped up by Minos in a party in the fullback role now. She didn't know what to do. She was looking for help. Now Matua. Mona Lisa Soliola for Manny Bartlett. Oh, Has she gotten it down? Is, yeah. There's a blade of grass there. She always finds Give the it. try line. Number 18 of her career, and there is the consolation. It is so great to see that the Raiders continue to, to try right to the end of this game because you could very easily pack up. where the space was that Matua took advantage of. So uh, it just goes to show it can be a game of chess. Rugby league. Sometimes. I hate chess. <laughs> Fungi's kick looks oh. beautiful off the boots and the flags are raised. It's a 20 point margin. And NRLW Weekly, the podcast with Marley and Rue and special guests coming up this week. What's uh, the fodder this week? A full finals preview, I'd imagine. Yes, we are. We're going to do a finals preview. We're going to review a few of the games from the weekend and what the performances mean going into it. We're also going to touch on, we're, I think we're going to start selecting our uh, rookie class of 2023. We're going to put together a team of rookies, yeah, no the best rookies that we've seen so far. And we've seen some absolute humdingers this year. They've been no, fantastic. And okay. Unfortunately, here for the Raiders, it looks like there's some concern for... Zahara Temura. Yeah, there'll be plenty, plenty to cover coming into finals. And for the first time, home semi-finals. Yes. Very exciting. Stay on! McDonald Jones Stadium. Set to host one final and confirmation of where the Roosters will be hosting their final is coming up in the post-game show with Emma Lawrence and the team. Short kickoff here. Practice for week one of the finals and off Canberra hands for the Titans to tidy up. They might need that weapon against the Roosters next week. Absolutely. I mean, the, the Roosters have got so much strike across the field. You need to come up with contestable moments. And that is definitely one that you can use to your advantage. Stung by conceding their first points. The Titans want to finish with a bang here. Martor and Taufa there for first contact, but the offload for Loffy Poor. Still the teenager. Oh, yes. What a try from the Titans. They wanted to have the final say in Canberra. 
and they do right here. You got the feeling that's what they were angling for, didn't you? Right from that short kickoff, Lauren Brown said, we're going to go for this. Let's do it. They put it up right into the sun as well. Really good positioning. And the Harvey Norman replay is going to show what they do so well off the back of really fast play the balls. They create the space. Attack from Arpi Nichols and able to surge over the try line for her second of the season. Remember, she came on as a replacement player back in round one. That was her debut. Played as a halfback a few times and really making this number 14 jumper her own. I, I mentioned earlier on that Talia Fuima Ono would be in contention for that spot, but it's going to be tough to take the 14 off Lofipo. Yeah, there's some tough decisions for Karen Murphy and the team to make as Steph Hancock is lining up for the conversion and she's hit the post. <laughs> oh, take a bow anyway, Steph. <laughs> she normally strikes them very well. Not so on this occasion, but uh, yeah, there's some selection headaches, which is always a good thing to have as a coach. I mean, you don't want to have to be just scrambling to try and fill, fill slots, so... I think it's a really good thing that she's got that ability. <laughs> Take a bow. The whole Stay bench outside. giving her a ribbing after that one. See where the Canberra goes short. You'd imagine they would. And a little too deep. But as you mentioned, the Titans, when they went short from the kickoff, it was almost like they were preparing for a situation next week. If they need to chase the game, from a short kickoff, then this is what we're going to do, and they executed. Yeah, absolutely, and that's that's what you use all of your regular season round games for. You tr you try and you test all of these things so that you know when it comes to crunch time that you can pull them off. And yeah, they did that very very well there and got straight back onto the front foot. So they deserve this victory, the Titans. They were so sharp from the get go. Came here with a job to do, and they are into the finals in 2023. Wooden Spoon has one season, finalists the next. And they're ready to take on the Roosters after an emphatic win here over Canberra, whose season is now over full time. It's the Gold Coast Titans 30, the Raiders 6.